In this video, I'm hitting the streets of Buffalo, New York with one goal, to find the best buffalo chicken wings in the entire city. Going all the way from base level wings to some of the best wings I've ever eaten in my entire life. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, because this one is getting a little spicy. Going all the way back to 1964, the first buffalo chicken wing recipe was actually made at the Anchor Bar and Grill right here in Buffalo, New York, which is coincidentally our first stop to find the best wing in Buffalo. I didn't have to go far on this one because one of Anchor Bar's many locations is actually in the airport that we landed at. We're gonna grab some wings along with some of the other hungry flyers that just landed. Let's do it. So I, I think literally, how many wings does this come with? Meatless? Meatless wings? What does that even mean? Interesting. $18 though. We're starting it off pretty pricey. I don't know how many wings this comes with. I think we're just gonna do all of them medium. That way they're not all different and they're just all the same. And I don't usually eat bone-in chicken wings, but I know I'm gonna get clowned on if I don't get the bone-in for this video. So we're just gonna have to suck it up and get some bone-in wings today. Wow, I'm still just shocked at this $18 though. Prepared with original Anchor Bar sauce. So it's got Anchor Bar sauce and medium sauce? Cheers to a lot of chicken wings. Question for you, what is a meatless chicken wing? <laughs> really stupid question, right? Yeah. They're, they're not, they are vegetarian. That's what I figured, I, I figured, yeah. Like, what do you just get the wing? I'm right, like, oh yeah. No, I figured they, that's what it was. They worded it really dumb. I don't know yeah. who made these menus. For sure. So how many chicken wings does it come with? You get eight wings. Okay, I'm gonna do uh, the bone in, I'm gonna do medium. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Okay, yep. sounds good. Appreciate it, thank you. You got it. So are these like the staple wings in Buffalo yes. then? Okay, yeah, cool. Absolutely. I literally flew here just to try Buffalo Stop. wings. I swear to God, yeah. <laughs> get out, so really? I have like 10 different places I'm going to today. I'm just trying Where are you Buffalo from? wings. Ohio. Okay. Yep. You're clearly a Bills fan. No. Where are you going later today, do you know? Probably the top wing place in Buffalo mm -hmm. that you're missing, Barbell. What's it called? Barbell. Barbell? Yep. Okay, thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. it. Now we just gotta wait on some food. Moments later. First impressions. These bad boys are covered in sauce. It smells really good though. I have a strong feeling I'm gonna make a mess. I'm gonna use a napkin here. I don't wanna get my hands up. These are a strong start. These are good. They definitely got plenty of sauce on them. I'm only gonna be able to eat like two or three wings from each spot because otherwise I'm gonna get stuffed real quick. A little ranch dip. Well, it's already 11 a.m. We gotta get moving. Kinda wanna eat one more, but I will dip in on a little celery though. I might be becoming a celery advocate here. Thank you so much. I don't know how I'm gonna fit all these wings in my bag. A little bit of Pepsi sip. One more celery dip. And we're out of here. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult to rate the Anchor Bar just yet, because we haven't tried any of the other spots yet, but the service was pretty good, the atmosphere was all right, and the wings were a pretty solid start. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and give them a solid eight out of 10. I do think that we're gonna encounter some better wings for our taste buds in this video. One of those places may just be Duff's Famous Wings. They've been here since 1946. That's a long ass time. It's a pretty small little place, but it's kind of, yeah. Hey, is this place good? Yeah, yeah. All right, appreciate you, bro. We're about to slide in here and get some wings. Okay, so I did a five piece of the medium, which is apparently decently hot. And then I also got Duffalo, which is an IPA, I guess. I'm not an IPA person, not a beer person, but she said it was pretty good. She said she's not an IPA person either. So anything that says Duff on it, come on. It's Duff. We have to try it. We have to try Duff beer in real life. Duff is an icon! So that's what we're doing. Atmosphere's cool though. Duffalo taste test here. I don't know how much this was, but let's give her a go here. Coming from the not beer person, so just take this opinion with a grain of salt. That's not bad. Kind of just tastes like beer to me, but I guess I just don't have a taste for it. It is good though. How are the wings, brother? A plus, pretty solid. My first time here. So, one out of 10, what would you give it? About an eight? Okay, cool, good to know. Oh, really? Is the place to go? Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. 
Oh, did I just get a bucket? This is crazy. Just give me a... This is awesome. All right, look at this. These look good. Mm. These are gas. This is a good chicken wing. It's not as hot as I thought it was gonna be, but that's not technically a bad thing. I think I'm figuring out pretty quick how to actually eat a bone-in chicken wing here. To me, these are significantly better than Anchor Bar. The sauce is way better here. I could eat all these, but I really gotta stop. Duffs, I'm giving it an 8.5. We're moving it up a little bit on the scale. Our next spot claims in the name that they have the best wings. They're called America's Best Wings. Now, whether that's the case or not, I don't know. We're gonna be the decider. Not gonna lie, I don't know how I ended up here. Obviously, the atmosphere is uh, unique. I asked for a side of ghost pepper sauce, and they wouldn't give it to me. Nope. Not a great start, but cheapest wings so far at only $7.60 for five wings. They also didn't have medium for some reason, so I just got hot, and now we wait. Batch just in. These actually, uh, these don't look too bad. I guess let's, uh, let's just dig in. Oh, these are gonna be messy boys. I need some napkins. Big hopefully here that these do not make me sick. We've moved down the ladder a little bit here. Everybody wants this ladder. I live in an apartment with um, vaulted ceilings. Uh-oh. Not bad. This is by far not, this is not as good as Duff. I don't even think this is as good as Anchor Bar. Mm. And I can't lie, $7 compared to $18 is that's a big difference. I'm talking like a massive difference. That's over double, double the, the price. price. I'm gonna have myself one more here. I think I'm a sucker for the sauce on this one. Not a lot of meat though. Like I feel like I'm just biting off breading. My face is gonna be a mess after this one. If you guys haven't liked the video yet, what are you doing? I'm eating buffalo wings and buffalo and you haven't liked the video? Are you insane? Wow. Messy, messy. So definitely minus points because I asked him for ghost pepper sauce on the side and he actually said no. Like he literally looked at me and said no. The sauce again, banging. I think I'm gonna have to give this guy a seven. There just wasn't enough meat on the bones itself, but the sauce was good and it was way, way cheaper than the Anchor Bar. Maybe I'll give it a seven five. Nope, I'm, I'm bumping it up. This is actually a decent little spot. If you're in the Buffalo area, it may not come up on some of the bigger pages saying that it's the best. It's not bad. Now, our next spot was supposed to be a place called At 11 Wings and Cuisine, but they're closed. You know what that means, zero out of 10. And then to make things even greater, we were supposed to go to a place called Specialty Wings, and guess what? They're closed too. So now we are gonna be hitting up a place about 18 minutes down the road. It's called Gabriel's Gate. This puppy is on the top of the top of the list. So maybe this will top it. Time to call another Uber and hit the road, Jack. We're back up in the pricey range a little bit here. We're back up to $18 for 10 wings, which is two more wings for the same price as the Anchor Bar. Are these the best wings in Buffalo, in your opinion? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It, hey, comes right up. The decider has arrived. Kind of a different atmosphere, though. I'm not even sure how to explain what I'm seeing. B -b 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 Buffalo in Buffalo. Go Bills. Go Bills. Everybody here seems uh, seems decently nice so far. In the city, I mean. I might have gotten a drink if wings weren't $18, but apparently they're the best. Bing bong, steaming. These wings are steaming. I think these are the only ones so far that have come out steaming. These ones are, these ones aren't as sauce heavy, I'd say. They're not bad though. These are definitely not the worst, but they're not the best. They don't beat Duff in my opinion. Let me give it. Let me give a bigger wing a go here. I think I can come to a pretty easy verdict on this one. That being said, they might just be a little bit better 
than the anchor bar. Just, just by a hair though. I gotta eat one more. I'm giving these an 8-2. I think, <clears throat> ooh, I swallowed some spice. Have you been to Barbell yet? That is what the most people have told me so far, is to go to Barbell. If you're checking okay. out chicken wings and buffalo, Okay. Go there, 100%. So I've had such an overwhelming amount of people tell me to skip my last couple spots and take a detour 30 minutes up to Bar Bills. So I think we're just gonna have to do it. I think we are taking the detour up to Bar Bills in Clarence. If what the people are saying is true, this is gonna be the spot. You get that Buffalo half up. <laughs> Facebook Marketplace. Really? <laughs> yeah. Hey, thank you, appreciate it guys. Bar bills, here we come. Munir is picking us up. Sounds a lot like Mjolnir. All right, we are at our last stop here. This is Bar Bills. This has been recommended by an unfathomable amount of people. We're about to find out if this puts all the other ones to rest. But I'm also stuffed. And I had to order 10 more wings here, so I'm literally gonna be... I'm bringing home like 30 wings. Are these the best wings in the whole city? Yes, 100%? All right. I think so. Cool. All right. The best. I can say that the presentation on these is pretty fire. I mean, look at that. I have a feeling that this is gonna be number one, but let's dig in. Throw myself a little plate here. That's good. Let's see if these beat out duffs. Bink. I just put a smile on my face. Wow. Hey now, these are good. Holy shit. Baby, that is a wing. I can tell you already. Ding, ding, ding. We got a winner. There's no competition. These are the best. They're juicy. The buffalo sauce, is, the sauce is amazing. I could be getting sauce in my mouth and I don't even give a shit right now. Wow. We just found our undisputed champion. I went in for four and I'm so stuffed. Keep on trucking on these. I'm a happy man right now. That takes a significant jump from Duff's. What do we give Duff's, an 8.5? If that's an 8.5, this may jump up a full point. It's that much of a difference. 9.5, 9.5. 16 bucks for 10 wings, I'd pay 20. If I eat any more, I might spew. It'd be so worth it though. If you're in Buffalo and you haven't been here, are you really from Buffalo? I kinda didn't go to Barbell. Okay. If you didn't try the Cajun honey butter barbecue. Okay. Lima pepper's a new one. It's super, super, super good. Thank you so much. Hey, I appreciate you, brother. Yep. But you just brought us two different flavors of these wings here we're about to go in on. He brought us free wings, so I have to stuff it down. Here we go. Cheers, gang. Whoa. <laughs> that is good. God damn. That is seasoned so good. I don't think I've ever tasted a wing like this before. That is so good. And then this one, cheers again. Ooh, that's got like a sweet, like a sweet heat to it kind of. I'm so full. <laughs> I'm gonna be in a coma. Shout out to my boy for bringing these out to me. I love them. I'm still in love with them. You didn't even have to bring these out and I still would have said they're the best. And now you brought these out and I'm even more convinced they're the best. These are banging. Yeah, they're banging, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap for me. I'm about to go out in the street, lay down and go to sleep.